basket. The opening tip is won by the Mountaineers. Michael Almonese, the last time we saw him, yep. <laughs> Sunbelt Conference Tournament down at Pensacola had a career-high 32 in the Sunbelt Championship game against Georgia State. And that was a tough loss for the Panthers in the finals of the Sunbelt Conference Championship. Out front is Adrian Delph. He wears number 20. Up top right wing, he'll fire a long three off the back iron. Battle for position for the rebound, ends up out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Mountaineers. It looks like Sosome had a chance to get that one. Starting five, Michael Almonese along with Donovan Gregory, Adrian Delph, C.J. Huntley, James Lewis Jr. for the Mountaineers. This team is deep, Dave. They lob it into Lewis Jr., get it back, Almonese. Slingshot pass up top to Delph. Almonese up top on the wing. Shadow there by Corey Allen. They switch defensively, try to go down low to Donovan Gregory. Gregory in the lane, off balance shot. Up and no good. First rebound of the night. Hopefully the first of many for Eliel Suseme. He's in the starting lineup along with Justin Roberts, Corey Allen, and Kane Williams. Down low, Jalen Thomas at 6'10". Panthers miss a shot inside. They keep the ball alive. Get it out to Roberts. Up top, his long three is good. Great way for Justin Roberts to get off to a good start, hitting that first three-point field goal. No, about it. no doubt about it, Dave. He's a great shooter. Looks to get engaged early on in this contest. That's his 24th made three-point field goal this season. Georgia State strikes first here at the sports arena. A lob comes to James Lewis, Jr. Out of Mount Holly, North Carolina. Gregory, behind the screen, pulls up and buries the jumper. Good for two there for Gregory. Six foot five, 190 pound junior from Charlotte, North Carolina. Left wing, Kane Williams back out front, Allen. Corey leads Georgia State in scoring, averaging 15 points a game. Got it over on the wing. Dribble pulls up. Jumper is good from the left wing for Corey Allen. Same thing. Yes. Great to see him hit that first shot. No doubt about it. Corey Allen's an absolute scorer. He has a very aggressive mind frame. Last Thursday night in Mobile, had seven points at halftime. Did not score a field goal the second half. All of his points were from the free throw line. So he's looking to get back and find some sort of rhythm shooting the basketball. Out front, Lewis Jr. Got to hand the ball off to Donovan Gregory. Back out front, it comes to Delft. Delph will drive in, up off, and it's, I was, thought it might be off the window. That was just a bunny shot. Just went up, went right in for Adrian Delph. Delph averaging 17 points, five rebounds. Right underneath, great positioning. Kane Williams, and the shot up off the glass is good. Kane Williams been playing aggressive basketball all season long, as if he's coming off the, the uh, bench doing real well, the Panthers will look to do well. Georgia State, a three-point lead, hustling back defensively. Out front is Huntley. Off to Almonese. Almonese on the run. A runner off the back guy. No good. Kane Williams skies and pulls down the rebound. Quick outlet. Right wing Roberts. Back out front. Allen. Corey trying to get close. Baseline. Jumper is good. Corey Allen. Well, he has that scores mentality, Dave. Always looking to put pressure on the defense. Panthers out to a five point early lead here. Almonese. Brings it across midcourt. On the wing, it's Delph. Shadowed there by Kane Williams. A couple of all Sunbelt Conference performers right there. Lewis Jr. in some traffic. Off to Almonese. Almonese finds Gregory over on the wing. They go in the corner. Delph fires a three and hits it. He's got five. And the lead for Georgia State is two. Quickly back the other way. Roberts, the trailer, gets it back from Corey Allen. Driving in, base of the free throw line. Jumper up and good. Didn't touch the rim. I don't even know if it touched the net on that shot there by Jalen Thomas. It might have brought down rain. It was so high arcing there. That's what Jalen Thomas does around the basket. Great touch. Four minutes gone here in the first half. Georgia State with the ball and a four-point lead. C.J. Huntley out of Huntersville, North Carolina. They lost the ball. It was deflected backcourt. A lot of experience into... Georgia State doing a great job at this point in time. Evan Johnson, the 5'11 sophomore point guard out of Durham, has checked in along with Jaheim Hudson out of the timeout, as well as Nelson Phillips. Johnson, a grab and shoot three from the right wing. The shot is up, no good. Gregory a rebound. Justin Forrest 
has entered the game for Appalachian State. He drives through the lane, kicks it out in the wing, left side, Almodice drives down low, trying to alley-oop it to Lewis Jr. was deflected. Almodice able to get the ball back. Delph will let it fly, wide to the right. Shaheem Hudson a rebound. Outlet Corey Allen into the front court. Panthers a four-point lead. Nelson Phillips out of Warner Robins, Georgia. Ten points, four rebounds. Panthers turn it over, pass deflected. Forrest up top for three. Didn't touch the rim, came off the glass right into the hands of Hudson for Georgia State. He's the trailer from Evan Johnson. They get it inside. Eliel Suseme down low to Hudson, driving with the right hand. Shot no good. Offensive rebound, Suseme. That is what Georgia State, prior to the last two games, was missing. You're so right about that. Here's a guy that just eats, just shows up around the ball all the time. Suseme has a nose for the basketball, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. Here's the keys to the game. Limit penetration for App State, crash the offensive boards, and for Georgia State, limit those turnovers and don't settle for three-point attempts. Guess you could say the same thing about Georgia State and LAL, crash the offensive boards. Oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Off the inbounds, Corey Allen. Ball poked away, able to hold on, shovels it over here. On the wing to Hudson. Leaves it for Phillips. Nelson, free throw line. His jumper, little off balance, was a little bit of contact, but still enough to get that to fall in over the rim. Yep, kind of a double clutch, but that's the kind of athlete that Nelson Phillips is. Georgia State by six. Gregory on the dribble front court. Justin Forrest, a Decatur, Georgia kid, just up the road here from the Georgia State campus. Almanasi on the dribble, over to the wing to Gregory. Into the lane, finds a shooter, Delph out on the wing, buries another three from the right side. Yes, they have to find Delph. The Panthers have to find Delph, but he's going to have a big night. Let's get shooting those wide open jump shots. Average is 17, he's already got eight. Jaheim Hudson leaves it off for Evan Johnson, slices, dices to the rim, and it's blocked by James Lewis Jr. Long outlet, Almonese, bounce pass, off on the Cutter from the right wing and Delph in the layup is good. Yes, uh, man, App State is running down that floor, getting easy buckets. Panthers got to be careful here. Georgia State's lead cut to one. Delph is already at 10 points. Out front, Corey Allen on the wing to Phillips. Back up top of the key, Allen. Pump fake drives from the elbow. The shot is short. Battle for the rebound. Coming off the glass. Little contact there. Fortunately, no whistle. Here's Delph. Leaves it off for Almodice. Baseline. Back to the trailer. That's Forrest. Three is rattles the rim. Hudson the rebound. Georgia State wants a little more up tempo. Corey Allen, front court for the Panthers. Straight away top of the key. The bounce pass off to Hudson. Thought about three. Brings it over to Phillips. Up top, Allen. Catch and shoot three. Off the side iron. And a battle for a rebound again. Eliel Susemi had a hand on it, but Gregory comes out of the pack with it. Here come the Mountaineers. Looking for their first lead of the ball game. Georgia State, a one-point advantage. Lob to Gregory. Will calmly fire it and hit it. Yes. One of the things the Panthers are falling right into the keys of the game. Don't settle for threes all the time. Get aggressive and get to the basket. Mountaineers, first lead of the night at 14-13. Yeah, I'd say they're certainly taking advantage. Corey Allen from Johnson. Ball ends up backcourt. Almodice, though, going to win the foot race. Drives down into the lane. Goes up with the left hand off balance. Shot no good. Drew the contact and got fouled. Panthers a little helter skelter right now. Turning the ball over. Looks like Coach Lee is going to make some wholesale changes here. This next dead ball. Cade Williams, Jalen Thomas, Justin Roberts set to return for Georgia State. So you got to wonder who's dictating the pace of play here. Georgia State and Appalachian State. Tail of the tape coming into tonight's ball game. Georgia State averaging almost 74 points a game. The Mountaineers at almost 68. Mm -hmm. And 41.8, 41.5. So those shooting percentages from the floor pretty much. Right. And the turnover margins are pretty close. Georgia State plus four percentage points shooting from the free throw line and neither team probably both teams wish and feel they probably should be well above 70 percent. No doubt about it. The rebound margin right there. You know that's something that the Panthers have struggled with. The Mountaineers have certainly done a better job on the boards. We'll see what happens tonight. But it looks like the Mountaineers are dictating the pace of the game. At this point in time, the Panthers is like, you know, like we talked about earlier in the keys of the game, settling for those threes. Got to be careful. 
couple of free throws for Almonacy, and it's a three-point lead now for Appalachian State. Jalen Thomas leaves it off for Nelson Phillips. They try to pick and roll. Locates the shooter in the corner. That's Jaheim Hudson for three. Rattled the rim in and out. Delft the rebound as it popped out of the cylinder. Delft trying to go coast to coast. Leaves it off inside. They whip the ball back up to Forrest for a long three from the right wing. Short rebound Jalen Thomas. There's Roberts working around to Thomas' screen. In traffic. Elbow jumper off the front of the rim. No good. The rebound is... Secured there by Appalachian State. Michael Eads wears number 10, a 6'4 sophomore from Orlando, averaging four points, a couple of rebounds. So he's already got one. Yep. <laughs> uh, Nears a three-point lead in the ball. Here's Forrest working against Roberts. Up top, Delph. He'll catch and shoot. Another three for Adrian Delph. He's on fire. He came the last part of the, the uh, season last year. He came on real strong and it's carried over to this season. Said this, he averages 17. He's already got 13 points. Yes, he, is, he doesn't show any signs of cooling down at this point in time. Bob Nears by six. Roberts over on the left wing. Trying to work behind a Thomas screen. Pulls up from the left side. His shot no good. The rebound brought down by C.J. Huntley. So you look at the Panthers, or, you know, the last three or four shots have been behind the arc. But the Mountaineers are getting to the bucket, and they're, and they're hitting some shots also. Forrest backing his way in, working against Roberts. What a pass by Forrest to a cutting Jamie tied for fourth, but we're early in Sunbelt Conference play, and they've got the Georgia swing, Atlanta, and then Statesboro on Saturday. Coming out of the timeout, Kalik Brooks has checked into the ball game. Junior out of Alpharetta, Georgia. Late for the Alpharetta High School Raiders. Corey Allen over here in the wing. Kane Williams back up top with Jalen Thomas and Justin Roberts. Allen back out front to Kane Williams. Off to Allen. The fadeaway from the baseline is up, and it is in and out. The rebound brought down by Michael Eads. What I noticed about the Mountaineers, they're giving the Panthers one shot opportunity only. Forrest on the dribble. Up top trying to get it to Adrian Delt. He's working around a screen there set by Huntley. Trying to get in the lane, does so. The turnaround shot rolls around and it falls through. He's got 15 of their 23. Yes, he's looking to he's looking to get his shot off every single time he touches the ball, Dave. Corey Allen over to Brooks, Justin Roberts, and by the way, Justin hit that early three that put him over a thousand. He's got a thousand and one points for his career. The shot uh, there by Corey Allen, partially blocked and fouled there by Adrian Delph. But Justin Roberts started his college career in Chicago at DePaul. Right, so right. His, his DePaul scoring and his Georgia State scoring with that three, he's now 1,001 points for his college career. Right. Congratulations to Justin Roberts, a fine shooter, a fine young man. Looking to, uh, to continue to see great things out of Justin Roberts. You see that graphic, 869 prior to the three were as a Georgia State Panther. Yes. Or Corey Allen. Misses on that first free throw. Corey, the senior out of Ypsilanti, Michigan, averaging 15 points, 67% free throw shooter, now 14 out of 22 from the line. And that was a three-point shot, so he will shoot a third free throw. Missed the first, hit the second. Delph will head over to the bench. Almonese will check back in here for the Mountaineers. Here's Corey's third free throw. That one is good. Corey Allen with six. Just past the midway point here in the first half. And they turn it over, almost turned it over on the inbound pass, and they're going to call a jump ball. That's that non-verbal communication <laughs> right. when you inbound that ball thinking your man, your teammate, is going to be somewhere, and then something happens, and they're not where you thought they were going to be. Exactly, but it's interesting. The Panthers decided to put pressure. I thought it was a great move by Coach Lanier and his staff to put pressure off that free throw make. It really surprised the Mountaineers. Possession arrow will favor the Mountaineers. Forrest to Lindbond right in front of their bench. And we'll come into Huntley. C.J. Huntley gets it back to Forrest. Quickly into the front court. Forrest driving in the lane. The runner is up. And it's going to be an offensive foul on Justin Forrest. 
Just is having a tough game right now. As you see the replay, just kind of helped to skip it down the court, took it the entire length of the court. As you can see, Corey Allen had great position in the middle of the lane. And the young man from Decatur probably has like 1,900 points in his career. Uh, certainly had uh, a little sickness early this year. He's trying to get himself back into playing shape and into the flow of things. Did you play against his father when you were here at Georgia State? No, James a little bit ahead of me. I, I knew James when he was in high school. Uh, very good friends of mine. My son actually played for his AAU outfit, uh, but he's a fantastic young man. He's got another young, uh, young kid coming out, Jalen, the youngest son. He's about 6'5". We're talking about 30 pounds. And yeah, we're talking about Justin Forrest's father, yes. James, who was a really, really, really good player at Georgia Tech. Yes, he was. They put the ball in play to Huntley. Again, Georgia State attacking full court pressure. They've got a or trying to get a trap at Almodesi. And Gregory will bring it on the dribble across midcourt. Just inside of nine to go here in the first half. Almonese, top of the key, swings it over on the wing left side. Back in his way in is Gregory. He's in a double team looking for help. And a lob it across in the corner. Huntley a catch and shoot three and buries it in the right corner. 26 to 15. Yeah, but when that shot went in, we got a foul. It looks like on Gregory Donovan pushing Kane Williams to the ground under the basket. So Donovan Gregory will pick up the foul. That'll be his first personal. They count the three. It's 26 15 in favor of the Mountaineers. Yeah, so you can get a three point shot from the likes of uh, C.J. Huntley, the young man, six foot seven, 230 pounds from Marietta, Georgia. That's icing on the cake, Dave. Georgia State again, six and seven coming into tonight's ball game. 0 and two in the league, but Panthers have had four games canceled because of the COVID-19 virus. Four and one at home this year, but the Panthers have lost four of their last five, including the first two Sun Belt Conference games. Last out, it was last Thursday night. We were down at the Mitchell Center in Mobile. Right. And could not get out of Mobile with a W over South Alabama. They're pretty good, too. Yeah, but, you know, being in the game, uh, the last broadcast that I was on, UT Arlington had a nice, had some nice opportunities to get a win there and could not pull it at home also. Mountaineers get by the full court pressure. Got it in the corner. Huntley this time from the left wing. Fires a three. In and out. No good. Justin Roberts a rebound. Quickly into the front court. Kane Williams the trailer. Thought about a three. Wanted to get a little closer. Now back out. It comes to Jalen Thomas from Corey Allen. Off the back iron. Offensive rebound. Another one there. Second or third there for Eliel Seme. And Georgia State gets a new 20 on the shot clock. Eliel battling down low there with 25, James Lewis Jr. Pass through the lane is stolen. Justin Forrest all the way. And how so many other teams play so many other games more than other teams who miss COVID games. Series history. This is the 17th meeting all time between Georgia State and the Mountaineers. And whoever wins this one tonight is going to go out leading the series. It's tied at eight after four meetings last year, including the Sunbelt Conference Championship game. Down in Pensacola. Here's Ellie Elsa Semi. Can't back his way in for a clean shot. Back out to Allen. Shoveled it in the lane. Back to Eliel. Didn't know it was coming. I think Eliel's thinking rebound at that point. Yeah, he's going to get and some the Panthers, position. Panthers turned it over. Adrian Delft back on the floor for the Mountaineers. Lob to Forrest. The correction to Gregory. Off to Almonese. Lob cross court. It will come to Huntley. Up top of the wing, left side. Delph working around the Gregory screen. He was trying to run a little bit of a pick and roll. Lost possession of the ball. Now gets it back. Got to let it fly at the buzzer off the side of the rim. Shot clock violation against the Mountaineers. Yeah, that's great defense by Corey Allen and the Panthers. Delph kind of lost the ball, went toward the half court area. But those are the kind of things that kind of get you off rhythm. So the Panthers needed a stop like that to kind of slow Delph down. Georgia State with the ball, trailing it by 11. Inside a seven to play in the half. In the ball game for Georgia State. Sophomore out of North Little Rock, Arkansas. Colin Moore. Allen out on the wing, trying to get into the lane. Does so, off balance shot, rattles the rim, stays in. Corey Allen's got eight. 
once again being aggressive going toward the basket he jumped off the wrong foot there Dave headed toward the left makes that one go down for two Georgia State cuts it to single digits Donovan Gregory top of the circle looking for help and is trying to get it to Almodice almost lost it he's able to gain control of the ball with his pass try to get it between Thomas and Roberts the ball is deflected out of bounds see the Panthers is putting Colin Moore in the game to kind of shadow them all around coach telling them hey if he goes to the bathroom go with him Jaheim Hudson will check in replacing Jalen Thomas and the inbound will come into Almonacy Delph all the way to the window up off the glass and it's good <laughs> Delph is bucking it down there saying y'all can't stop me you know he's already scored his season's average and we still have 545 to go in the first half long yes. three Roberts is no good and Delph ch chases the rebound down in the corner gets that ball ahead to Gregory Huntley thought about a three back out front to Donovan Gregory working one on one against Hudson step back turnaround is short rebound chased down by Roberts just in front court over here to Colin Moore a little further down Corey Allen on the right wing got a mismatch down there in the post they can find Jaheim Hudson Roberts trying to get Jaheim the ball back in his way in here Donovan Gregory goes up off the nice. glass with the right hand is good place that perfectly on the glass in the box classic post up right there nice turnaround baseline move soft off the glass for Jaheim Hudson 28 19 inside of five to go Mountaineers with the ball Jalen Thomas Evan Johnson will check in here momentarily Christopher Mantis looks like he's about to check in at the next stoppage of play here's Gregory all the way across the court Delph for three that one rimmed in rimmed out Hudson the rebound well he he is human isn't he <laughs> Corey Allen left side pulls up high arcing shot good for two yes he's good for scoring right there Panthers need someone to take control of this game and get them back closer to taking the lead the inbounds to Almodice Georgia State has cut the deficit down to seven Almodice out front C.J. Huntley over Almonacy. He'll catch it, shoot the three, and hit it from the left wing. Yes, nice step back. Call took his time. Almonacy dropped it down for three. Michael Almonacy. That's his 31st made three-point field goal. His first field goal of the game. His previous two points were free throws. Panthers turn it over. Delph took it away from Corey Allen, who's trying to lob to Eliel Suseme. Delph now driving. Leaves it up underneath. Gregory had it, lost it. Justin Roberts driving in all the way off the glass. Counted, he got five. Adrian Delph, seven of 10 already, three of six behind the three point line. He's got 17 right at his season's average. Yeah, he is uh, certainly lighting it, lighting it uh, up in the arena tonight. Roberts, the free throw. He's got six. He'll exit Evan Johnson, Corey Allen back on the floor. So Jalen Thomas, Kane Williams, Evan Johnson, Corey Allen, Jaheim Hudson on the floor for Georgia State. Justin Forrest on the inbounds. Delph gets it back to Forrest. Across midcourt, Pester there by Kane Williams. Trying to get that lob over there to James Lewis Jr. Hands it back to Forrest. Delph will flash out, take the ball, working around a Huntley screen. And lost the ball, try to go baseline. Official says it ricocheted off his right thigh and out of bounds. That's going to be an App State turnover. Yes, once again, Delph is really continuing to be aggressive, trying to get the ball to the baskets. Panthers uh, really, really good, a good turnover right there. They have to come back and put points on the board right now to close this deficit. He's had a great first half, Adrian Delph other than that turnover yeah, exactly here's Jalen Thomas leaves it off for Evan Johnson having a step back three good from the right wing Evan Johnson knocks down a three-point field goal 
his first points of the night. Georgia State has cut it now to 31-27, back to within four. Give Evan Johnson a lot of credit for staying engaged during this COVID year with a, a lot of the seniors came back. I give him a lot of credit for staying engaged. 2.20 on a turning clock. Lewis Jr. out of Mount Holly, off to Delft in the corner. Forrest passed up a three, drives inside, leaves it off for Lewis. Little jump hook in the lane is short. Got a whistle, and the foul will go on 15, Jaheim Hudson. Yes. Jaheim Hudson had the outside position, so, you know, he was coming over the back and got that foul. James Lewis Jr. will be at the free throw line, as you see the replay here. Panthers fortunate it wasn't a three-point play there. Nelson Phillips also on the floor for the Panthers. And a first free throw up, no good off the back iron. 54% free throw shooter through the first 19 games for Appalachian State. He's now 24 out of 45 from the strike. Mantis and Huntley will exit. Donovan Gregory back on the floor for the Mountaineers. Also back is Almodesi. That first one was, looked very uncomfortable. James Lewis Jr. Sr. Averaging 6.5 points per game and 6.6 .6 rebounds. Second free throw also off the back iron. Another rebound for Eliel Sisemi. That's his fifth rebound, which is right at his two-game season's average. Again, he missed the first 11 games, so been pretty good these last two outings. Certainly the Panthers needed his rebound prowess, man, because he certainly attacks the board every single time on the offensive end as well as the defensive end. Corey Allen, spin move, driving into the lane. Runner off the back iron, no good. He hit the floor, no whistle. L.E.L. comes up with a loose ball. There is a whistle. I think they called, it, they called it a jump ball. The alternating possession arrow will favor the Mountaineers. Corey trying to split the defenders inside. And then Lewis Jr. and L.A.L. Looked like L.A.L. had possession as he was falling away. Yeah, I don't think there was enough there was enough pause for that to be a, 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 a jump ball, but the referee made the call. We're going to stick with it. 31-27. Forrest will inbound. Minute 46 in this first half. The inbound to Gregory. Georgia State again attacking with some full court pressure. Trying not to let Appalachian State get into any sort of an offensive rhythm, which we saw very early in the game. No doubt about it. Gregory hands it off to Delft. Shadowed there by Evan Johnson. Working around the screen there set by Lewis. Back over his right. Open three. Wouldn't, count, wouldn't have counted anyway. It's an illegal screen. The foul there against James Lewis Jr. Yeah, James Lewis Jr. is kind of <laughs> throwing his body around. Big body, uh, James. He listed at 6'3", 100, and actually 6'8", 215 pounds. He's more like 225 right there with broad shoulders. 31-27. Panthers can close the gap around the Susemi screen. Johnson finds Hudson straight away top of the key. Comes over here on the Allen on the wing. Allen sidesteps a defender. Three off the front of the rim. The rebound cleared there by Almonese. Michael Almonese all the way into the front court left side. Keeps it off for Lewis Jr. Forrest. Georgia State, good job staying with each player on the defensive end. Here's Gregory. Floater in the lane with the right hand is good. Yes, that's just good basketball. Long sleeve shirt. Look forward to that. Well, that win was Georgia State's eighth of the season, and that is the most wins in a very short history of Georgia State football. Panthers this year under Sean Elliott finished with eight wins in season number 12. They get it down low. Hudson, and the ball is loose on the floor. He tried to make the extra pass to Eliel Sosemi, Yes. And they lost it out of bounds. It was not a good pass. No spacing in the lane. You know, you got to have spacing, as you can see right then and right there. Plus, Justin Forrest was crashing down on Sosemi. Very unfortunate pass by the big fella, Jaheim Hudson. There are times to think extra pass, and there are times to go up strong when you're that close. No doubt about it, especially when you're 6'7", 6'8", long arms. Go make the basket. You might be at the free throw line. Well, they inbound it to Almonese. We're at 27 seconds to play here in the half. 33-27. Mountaineers. Here's Delph. Spinning in the lane. Going up. Turnaround. Off balance. Shot is good. Yeah. 
Again, he has the green light. As you can see, he's making off-balance shots. He's making threes. He showed us a repertoire of shots this first half. I've got him 8 of 11 from the floor, 35-27. Georgia State with inside of five. Evan Johnson pulls up. Final shot of the half is wide to the left. It's certainly significant for the Mountaineers. We'll see if the Panthers can do. Corey Allen's doing 10 points. Justin Roberts with six. See if the Panthers can generate a little bit more offense this second half. Georgia State the ball to start the second half. The three up top there by Kane Williams is short. Here are the other scores around the Sun Belt Conference tonight. Coastal Carolina will be here on Saturday. They're leading on the road at Georgia Southern at halftime. The other games, Texas State and Little Rock in the first, as is Troy in Louisiana, Monroe, Texas Arlington, Arkansas State, South Alabama, Louisiana. Getting underway shortly. Coastal and Appalachian State may pass each other on the highway. One going to Statesboro, and the other one's coming to Atlanta, Georgia. 75 to 3 6 to, to uh, 16, right? And there's a turnover. So Semi took it away from Huntley. Justin Roberts, front court. The trailer is Kane Williams. Opening minute here in the second half. Looking for the Panthers to generate something more than just jump shots. And Roberts' shot blocked. Saved and going out of bounds there by Gregory. App State gets the ball back. There's Almodice. He was not really much of a factor in the first half. Obviously because Delph was. He'll catch and shoot and leave that one short. Rebound comes right to Kane Williams. Georgia State two on two. Kane driving down the lane. Left it short on the front end. And the ball ends up deflecting out of bounds. The possession will stay with the Panthers. Yes, you got to get those buckets right there. Those easy buckets going to the basket. That wasn't necessarily an easy shot by Kane. But I'd rather, you know, try the backboard or something a little bit different, but get the ball over that front of that rim. Early substitutions, Evan Johnson, the sophomore out of Durham. Came out of Oak Hill Academy, will check in for the Panthers, replacing Justin Roberts. Evan will inbound the ball. Long, high lob. Comes to Corey Allen. Kane Williams. Allen going down baseline. Trailer there is Jalen Thomas. Not his shot. He Kane, thought about it. Yep, Kane thinking about it now. He'll let it fly. Off the front iron, no good. Rebound, tap, deflected. It's all the way back to Evan Johnson. Gets it over to Allen. Corey driving. And I don't know if he was going to drive and try a soft shot to the rim or if he knew just ahead to his right was Eliel. Yeah, he tried to throw the lob and Eliel just was not looking for it. You got to understand Eliel's coming off a very tough knee injury and his lift is not what it used to be. Panthers again attack with some full court pressure. Evan Johnson, Kane Williams. Al Modesty working around Huntley to get the ball across midcourt. I think you said it best in the first half, Dave. Panthers are doing all that they can to get the Mountaineers off their game. Uh-oh. Not for that man, though. Delph knocks down a three. That's his fourth made three-point field goal. He's got 22 now on the night. Yes, it's amazing how fluid his game is right now. He doesn't force a lot. He just takes what the defense gives him. Here's Corey Allen. Jalen Thomas. Soft jumper is good. Jalen Thomas. Second field goal of the night. He's got four. Again, Huntley stands there, sets a screen for Almonacy to push that ball in to the front court. Leaves it off for Gregory on the wing. Changes direction. In the corner, Huntley for three. And that is up and good. Well, did they call that a two or a three? Official, I think, on the other side said that is a two. Once again, Huntley shooting that ball outside. At six foot eight, 215 pounds, that's just icing on the cake for the Mountaineers. Evan Johnson drives, dishes, three. Corey Allen out of the corner, no good. Foot race to the rebound, one there by Gregory. Gregory, 6'5", a junior out of Charlotte. On the dribble front court. Leaves it off for Almonacy. Bouncing it back to Gregory. Back out front, Almonacy. Step back, high arcing shot off the front of the rim, the back of the rim, the front of the rim again, and the rebound to Semi. He's got six. Allen leaves it down low, and it was deflected, intended for Jalen Thomas, taken away by Delph. Yes, yeah, Corey Allen's a little bit frustrated right there. Jalen didn't have his hands ready for that interior pass. Another turnover for the Panthers. 
Gregory out front. Leaves it off for Almonacy. Back over here to Gregory, working one on one with Jalen Thomas. Right up against both big men. And the rebound brought down by Eliel. Ball ends up out of bounds. The official right here says Eliel not able to hold on, and they're going to keep the possession with the Mountaineers. Take another look. Have they called a timeout here? Almonese on the inbounds. It'll come into Gregory. Coming up on that first media timeout here shortly. Gregory on the dribble. Over here to Forrest. Going baseline. And that's going to be a travel. And he knew he was in trouble because he looked up and there's 6'10 Jalen Thomas in front of you. You're not getting that shot up and over him. No doubt about it. And, uh, you know, move to the baseline. Panthers did what they were supposed to do. Cut that baseline off. Justin had nowhere to go. Roberts catch and shoot three. Left wing. Count it there for Evan Johnson. That's Big his shot. second three-point field goal. He's now made an even 23s on the season. Big shot for the Panthers. They needed that shot in the arm in this contest. Boy, did they ever. Panthers back to within eight now, 40 to 32. Delph shadowed here by Colin Moore. You see another attempt to put a defensive-minded player. Delph drives. The floater is no good. And he got fouled. That's going to lead us into our... Time to get some things going here on this basketball game. Wow, Delph missed both free throws. That's unusual. <laughs> yeah, he's a, an almost 80% free throw shooter. Still an eight-point lead. Georgia State with Justin Roberts back in the floor in the backcourt with Evan Johnson. Can cut into this deficit. Coming off a of screen, pick and roll. Thomas can't get a shot. Back out front, Justin Roberts. Roberts going to go right around. Leave it up underneath. Jaheim Hudson finishes right at the rim. Nice play run there by the Panthers. No doubt about it. Finally... A dive to the basket by the Panthers. Justin Roberts making a fantastic pass to Jaheel Hudson. Really nice assist there by Justin Roberts. Panthers down by six. Forrest. And the bounce pass to Gregory. We get Delph, top of the key, working around the screen. He's double teamed. They kick it on the wing. Three there, short by Justin Forrest. Georgia State comes away with a loose ball. Roberts again working around the Thomas screen. Comes over to the wing to Colin Moore. Moore looking for a screen there. Back out front, Roberts. Justin, straightaway three. Rimmed in, rimmed out, no good. Delph had a rebound. Holds on, didn't, didn't know if he or Lewis actually came away with that rebound on the missed shot. Driving in all the way. Gregory from the wing. Ball blocked and rejected out of bounds. Man, the wingspan on Jaheim Hudson is unbelievable for the young freshman. He gets up and makes that a very good rejection for the Panthers. A much needed rejection on the defensive end. Jalen Thomas will head over to the bench. Eliel Suseme. Check in. Still Mike, looking for his first points. You got Michael Eads Jr. in the game. We saw him briefly in the first half. Yes. Almonese. Long inbounds backcourt. Forrest back across midcourt. Driving strong off the glass. Rolled off the front of the rim. Hudson the rebound. Gets it to Roberts. Roberts almost lost the dribble. Now going to circle it back out and reset. Hudson over to Moore. Down low, Sasebe. Baseline shot off the front of the rim, no good. Hudson almost tapped that. It comes away with a rebound. High arcing three right wing, no good. Moore, an offensive rebound for Georgia State. Catch and shoot three. In and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Sasebe. Can't get it to go down. Hudson, an offensive rebound. Can't get it to go down. The ball ends up out of bounds. Two, oh, three offensive boards on one trip down the floor. Almost five, Dave. I mean, that was incredible by the Panthers. Really crashed the offensive board, but could not get the shot to go down. Look at Jaheim Hudson. And so Sosome had dead looks at the ball that you see on replay. There's a layup. Dropped it. And the foul went against Jaheim. Yes. 
Oh, that was the that, foul that right there. Foul, yes. Coming over the back <laughs> and the arms of Eads. But so many uh, point blank layups missed in that possession right there. Delph trying to shake Colin Moore. Done a pretty good job at him defensively. Delph swings it. Forrest. Gregory. Forrest again over on the wing, working one on one against Evan Johnson. Back up top, Eads. He'll catch, he'll shoot a three. That's off the back iron, no good. Johnson a rebound for Georgia State. Panthers in transition. Johnson working against Dalmonese. Step back three, off the back iron, and rebound comes right to Donovan Gregory. Panthers have adopted this one defensive philosophy let someone else beat us, other than Mr. Delph. Well, he has been quiet in the second half. Yes, they've got a one field goal, one three point field goal after a 19 point first half. He's got it right now. Over here to Almodesi. Catch and shoot three from the wing on the right side is good. Good shot right there by Almodesi. He's got eight. Colin Moore, 43 34, Georgia State trailing Appalachian State. There's the lob down low. LEL really wants that first basket. They're just not giving him any room. Colin Moore, baseline, underneath the Hudson, and ball deflected and stolen by Delph. Lobs it ahead to Gregory. Inside of 12 to go in the ball game. Almodesi on the dribble out front. Shadow there by Roberts. Eads down to Forrest. Hands it off. Almodesi over here to Eads in the corner right wing. Delta three, and it's good. Uh oh, he's got 25 in the ball game. Yes, and he's showing once again no signs of letting up. Experience a lot of basketball played between all of these guys, and not only a lot of basketball, but a lot of basketball played together. So they got tremendous chemistry. Kane Williams back on the floor. Driving in the lane, and that's going to be an offensive foul. He pushed off with the right forearm, trying to get space into the lane. Yes, once again, Panthers is showing some anxiety right here because of the struggles into the game. Nice position by Justin Forrest. It's not working for him on the offensive end, but very good defensive play by Justin. So Mountaineers will inbound. Kane had two points at halftime. And again, they're going to chase the Mountaineers around with some pressure here as they inbound the ball. Almodesi again. Hutley stands right there in the middle, giving them kind of a beacon with which to try to work around. Yeah. Twelve point lead in the ball for the Mountaineers. Almodesi. Halfway into the second half period. Panthers got to really look for some stops and also look for some buckets. Almonese straight away top of the key shot is up and he gets the bounce. It's good for two He's got ten Two Mountaineers in double digits dealt with 25 now Almonese with ten And they lead it by 14 down low Panthers posts the semi Dumps it out on the wing now calls for it back back in his way in back in his way in ball knocked out of his hand swings it over into the corner Kane thinking about a three, driving. Shot no good. LEL offensive rebound. There's the putback. And that is the bucket he's been looking for. That's the bucket he's been looking for all game long. Could have come at a better time. Bring the Panthers back to 12 points. Inbounds comes into Forrest. Forrest, open shooter in the corner is Eads. He'll pass it up. He'll reset up top here with Forrest. We're right at the midway point here in the second half. Huntley thought about three, and he drags that pivot foot. It's going to be a traveling violation. Georgia State will get the ball back. They can cut it to ten or single digits nine with a three. Right, and what a big pivot foot that he drags, as you see on replay right there. He's probably wearing a 16 or a 17 right there. Could not stop his momentum. And he'll check out James Lewis Jr., the 6'8 senior power forward out of Mount Holly, North Carolina. Will Come on to the floor. Evan Johnson, Jaheim Hudson. Looked like he was going to hand it off. Instead, he'll drive in himself and with the right hand. A little off balance, but he gets the roll. He really did. Once again, the big fella showing his versatility. Took the Mountaineers to the bucket for two. Georgia State back to within 10. 
Forrest strong all the way underneath the rim. Kicks it out of the wing. Up top, Delph open for a three. Off the front iron, rebound Hudson. Evan Johnson will push it. The trailer is Kane. Swing it over on the wing, left side to Justin Roberts. Roberts looking to get into the paint, can't. Evan Johnson for three up top right wing, hits it. Big shot by Evan Johnson. Evan Johnson's not shy at all, pulling that trigger for three for the Panthers. That's his third three-point field goal here, second in the second half. Georgia State back to within seven with inside of nine minutes remaining. Almonese to Forrest over on the left side. Delph in the corner, catch and shoot. Almonese's three, no good, rebound comes out long. Corey Allen comes up with a rebound, driving in all the way. Off the glass, shot no good. Rebound Mountaineers. Now they want to run. Here's Almonese against Evan Johnson. Left it short. We got a foul. Was it a foul? No, Evan came down with the ball and had a foot yeah, out, of out of bounds. Yep. So they're going to reset the shot clock to 20. There's eight and a half minutes remaining. I think the Panthers are looking for a foul on the other end. Didn't get it, but did get back to play some good solid defense for the Mountaineers. Mountaineers will inbound. They get it right inside to Donovan, to, uh, Donovan Gregory. Missed the first shot, got his rebound, went back up and got fouled. They'll call the foul against Jaheim Hudson. Tough, tough, tough situation to give away an offensive rebound right there. Panthers could have gotten a good possession. So Jaheim will pick up the foul. That'll be his third personal. Team's fifth. Gregory, a 64% free throw shooter. And that first one is good. His first points of the second half give him seven now. Still a lot of basketball to be played here. GSU Sports Arena. Career high 20 in his most recent game. They played. Home and home with uh, Coastal Carolina swept the shot of clears. Hits the second one as well. He's got eight. That last game was real close. So the Mountaineers are, you know, really on the roll here with some, winning some good games. Hudson will shoot a three. That's wide to the right. And the ball comes to Eads. We talk about the challenging schedule that Rob Lanier and Georgia State have played. How about yeah. this one for the Mountaineers? Rodney, back on December 16th and December the 21st, they played Duke and then North Carolina. Yes. Not to mention Eastern Tennessee State as well as some other programs also. Oh, Forrest as he's falling to the floor. A fadeaway. Count it, and he got fouled on the play. Fifth in the conference and looking for their fifth win in the Sunbelt Conference here at GSU Sports Arena. Forrest, a 74% free throw shooter, now owns the program record for most games played as he hits the free throw, completes a three-point play. 53-41, Georgia State trailing it here at the arena. Eliel Sisseme hands it off Corey Allen. Top of the key, now uses Eliel as a screen, drives all the way to the rim, up off the glass, and it's good. First points of the second half for the senior, Corey Allen. A strong, strong bucket. Very, very much in need for the Panthers. Br brings the game back to 10-point deficit for the Panthers. Inside of eight minutes remaining. Forrest. Lewis Jr. trying to set him a screen. Now they'll get it to Delph. He's got Kane Williams defending him. Back and Kane down inside the paint. Ball knocked out of his hands. Gets it back. Turnaround shot is good. It didn't touch the rim and it didn't touch the net. Man, I tell you, that kid is certainly putting on a showcase tonight here in Atlanta, Georgia. He's got 27. And Kane did a good job on him defensively. Yeah, he's right there. Very good defensive position. Down low, they get it to Sisseme. Great drive and dish by Kane Williams. Very strong move. Sisseme showed some patience right there, waiting for all the Mountaineers to pass by. Banked it in off the glass. Ten-point lead again for the Mountaineers. As Gregory on the dribble brings it across midcourt. The yeah, Panthers can ill afford to trade buckets at this point in time. They need a stop right here on this offensive possession for the Mountaineers. They put the ball back in the hands of Justin Forrest up top. He'll shoot a three, miss it. And a battle for the rebound between Sisseme and Lewis Jr. It was last touched by James Lewis Jr. It'll be Georgia State ball. 
that last stat sheet, Georgia State out rebounding Appalachian State 31 24 with 13 offensive rebounds. That's right, but not able to kind of put some of those offensive opportunities, those second chance opportunities, in the basket. So Semi now with four points, nine boards. Corey Allen with a handoff from Eliel, slicing, dicing through the lane, turnaround baseline, shot no good. Hudson went up, got an offensive rebound. Kane Williams open from the wing for three, buries it from the left side. Georgia State cuts it to 55 48 inside of six to play. That's a big shot for Kane Williams as well as the Panther. That's the Panther team trying to get back into this game and get a win here at home. Forrest shadowed here by. Justin Roberts. Good crowd tonight here in the Georgia State Sports Arena, especially in that upper level on the other side. Yes, certainly a lot of the students behind us also showed up tonight for this game. Down low, Gregory trying to stay out of a double team. Forces the shot. Eliel Sisemi with a loose ball. Quick outlet, Kane Williams. Kane driving all the way and leaves it short. He goes from the right to the left hand. He hits the floor. Just short, and he got fouled on the play. They're going to call the foul on Delph. Yes, as you see on the replay, a little bit of a rush by Kane Williams from Douglasville, but the Panthers benefit from putting Kane at the free throw line. He too. Kane Williams, five points tonight, 75% free throw shooter, 52 of 69 this year. Mm. And he misses it. I probably should have waited before I yes. said that. This, uh, that shot was not good from the moment it left his hands. Kind of a rush. Let's see if he can get down number two. Second one looks a lot better. He's got six. Kane enters this game six on Georgia State all-time scoring list. 13,389 points. There's a steal. Corey Allen baseline left side. Off with this out of bounds. Forrest will inbounds, and it comes into Delph up ahead to Al Modesty. That's got a quick, fast break opportunity, but they'll slow it up a little bit here. Donovan Gregory hands it off again over here. Right wing to Delph. Tacks the basket, goes up inside. Shot off the window, no good. The rebound to Kane Williams. Kane driving in all the way off balance, left it short, offensive rebound, Eliel Seseme. Catch and shoot for Corey Allen, wide to the right. Rebound in the lane, Roberts, his floater is good. Opportunity after yes. opportunity, finally Justin hit the shot. Exactly, looks like the, tape, the tail of the tape of this game is kind of turning toward the Panthers' favor. Certainly have the momentum right now, only down by two. Almonese off the lob into the front court. Just over four minutes remaining. And get it, Gregory, just outside the free throw line. Delph on the wing, one on one against Kane Williams. Pulls up baseline, shot is short. Kane Williams the rebound. Georgia State can tie it or take the lead with a three. Passed up a three. Fires over to Roberts. The other side of the floor, Corey Allen driving his floater. Ties the ball game. Corey Allen has got six in the second half, 16 on the night. We're tied at 55. Boy, brand new game. The best next three minutes and 28 seconds will tell who wins this game. Justin Forrest trying to figure out what play they're going to run. Get it off to Gregory. You can see how the momentum has swung from one end and one bench to the other. Forrest passed up a shot. Goes up underneath. It's blocked by Sisemi. Loose ball picked up Corey Allen. Corey on the wing. The trailer. Kane Williams. Three is short. Rebound out Modesty. Mm. Well, this gym would have erupted yeah. after he would have went down by Corey Allen. I mean by actually Kane Williams. You can feel the energy on our shoulders from the student section. Exactly. Almodesi off to Gregory. Delph. Delph working one on one in the lane. Got fouled there. It's going to be. Let's see if he can come back strong right here. This is a one and one. Yes. Well, now it's going to be two shots. <laughs> He's got 28 on the night. 
Yes, the young man is, like I said, really, really has been having a great season. Hits them both. 29 on the night. This is a kid who averages 17 per ball game. 29 yes. points. Game high tonight. Here's Ellie Elsa semi. We're 225 to go here in the ball game. Georgia State down by two with the ball. Roberts from Sesame. Drive it up, trying to get close. LEL out front, Kane Williams. Swing it over on the wing, Allen. Thought about three. Down low, they go to Hudson. Jaheim spins against Gregory. Jump hook off the back iron. No good. A foul in the lane. And that is going to go against Appalachian State, I believe, on 25, James Lewis, Jr. Yes. Panthers get another shot at the basket. As you see, Jaheim Hudson backing down with the post move. A nice jump hook over the top. But Sassini got fouled under the basket. Roberts will inbound. Hudson hands it off Allen. Corey on the dribble. Going to back it out here a little bit. Right side, Kane Williams. Kane going to let a three fly. Short. Foot race to the rebound. El Monacy for Appalachian State. Inside of two minutes to play. Kane trying to pester Michael Almonese. He had 32 against Georgia State in the Sunbelt Conference Championship last March. Swings it over to Forrest. On the wing. Forrest. Trying to shake Corey Allen. Got to pull up. He's going to fire up an end. But you can't hardly get over that hump to take the lead. We'll see what the Panthers can do with a minute and 22, 22 seconds left. Well, they can tie it with a two. They can take the lead with a three. Kane Williams from Roberts. Ball out front. Almodice, top of the defense. Corey Allen going to spin, drive it against Delph. Nowhere to go. Back out front. Williams around the Sesame screen. Couldn't get him the ball. Roberts on the wing. Justin, left side. Buries a three on the left wing. Love it. Dave, you deserve it. You deserve it, baby. After 39 years being the voice of the Panthers. All right, we're inside of a minute to go. And right now, Georgia State hustling back defensively. Almodice going to bring it across midcourt. Panthers looking for a stop. Mountaineers looking for a bucket. Uh-oh, keep an eye on Delft, and they steal the ball. Panthers come up with a steal. Kane Williams reached in behind Delph and knocked the ball loose. Oh, very, very heads up play by the fifth year senior in his COVID year. Certainly, certainly looking at a timeout. And I don't think that the uh, Mountaineers hadn't been that many fouls in this game, so the Mountaineers are not in the bonus. So the Panthers will get another possession to get the ball in and run some more clock. That's the defensive play of the night, right no there. No doubt about it. And you're looking at, you know, Delph who did so much to uh, make sure the Mountaineers had a great lead in this game. Also, the last turnover uh, to uh, hurt the Mountaineers at this particular point in time. See if the Panthers can pull this thing out with 32.7 seconds left in this contest. Georgia State. 0-2 in conference play with four canceled because of the yes. virus conference games. The Arkansas trips of Little Rock yes. and Arkansas State. And uh, Troy. Troy. Right? Yep. But now this is this is make or break season right here for the Georgia State Panthers. Appalachian State well on their way, you know, four and two in the conference play. Panthers can ill afford to go down in conference play 0 and 3 at this point in time. So a 2.7 second difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Well, Appalachian State, you know they're going to foul. Panthers have to be strong with the basketball. Have to get a good inbound pass here. Kane Williams will inbound right here in front of us. And we'll come into Hudson. It was stolen on the inbounds. Here's Forrest. Forrest looking to drive the baseline. He lost the ball. And we got a foul on the play on Justin Roberts. 27.5 seconds to go. 58-57 Georgia State. Oh, man, you're looking at the replay right there. Justin Roberts was very surprised on the call. There was some contact right there. Thought it was a good call by the official. Forrest is a 74% free throw shooter. 
crowd gets loud, and the front end ties it at 58. That is plenty of time to get off a shot if they would be down by a point or tied up. Got to get this rebound right here, Panthers. The Mountaineers are looking to get another opportunity if it comes off. App State now leads it by one, 59-58 with 27.5 seconds remaining. So that's a golden opportunity we always talk about on this broadcast, how the out-of-bounds play is never effective. Nobody runs a great out-of-bounds play yeah. to make sure that their team is open. And that's what the Panthers did with Jaheim Hudson coming for the ball and Justin Forrest behind him kind of poked it away. Tough, tough play for the Panthers, but the Mountaineers did take the lead back. Forrest did not score in the first half. He has one field goal tonight here in the second half, and he's three for four from the, make that three for three from the free three throw three, line. Yep. Those two points right there might be the biggest yep. points for App State tonight. Huge. And, you know, you're talking about a guy, you know, we talked about this earlier, uh, Dave, one-on-one. -on -one. You know, Justin did, you know, have a bout of COVID, and during that bout, lost a tremendous amount of weight. So when you think about this COVID year, you know, a lot of teams are canceling games, but you never know what it does to the individual player to have a, you know, a, a, uh, a virus like that. You know, and, and it took Justin a while to get back. Once again, we're talking about a guy that's headed towards 2,000 points in his career at Appalachian State. Jaheim Hudson will inbound coming out of that timeout. 27.5 seconds to go, down by one, 59-58. The inbounds comes in to Justin Roberts. 20 seconds. Roberts working around the screen, in the lane, goes up, off the glass, good, with 15 seconds to go. Georgia State back up by a point, 60-59. 10 seconds remaining. Forrest working around the screen. Forrest looking to drive. Turnaround, shot is up, and it's good for Forrest with 1.4 seconds to go. Allen at the buzzer.